Um, I finally got to participate in a pocket full of um, embellishments swap, which I'm so excited about. And they had to be all handmade embellishments. And I am going to put some other goodies in there, but I just wanted to show you just the things that I handmade that are part of the swap. So there'll be one more card in here that's going to um, house this. I'll show you in a minute. But I wanted to show you the box real quick. I made this box out of uh, one of those boxes you get at the post office, like a, a priority mailbox, I think they are. But anyway, if you want to see how I put it together, I'll put, I'm going to put um, the step-by-step -step instructions on how I made the um, container on my blog so I'll put a link to my blog below but this is the um how the box turned out it's totally cute uh, this trim was gifted to me and I just love that flower trim let's see can you see that all right and then this beaded trim I got at Hobby Lobby and what I did to get it to adhere all the way around the edge is I first glued it on with the hot glue and then I went with glossy accents in between you know each one to hold it on so I just use the hot glue as a temporary while I put while they glossy accents dry um, these adorable butterflies mm -hmm. I got at a sale that um, our channel was having and then I've got um, some wild orchid craft flowers um, another paper flower I'm not sure where it came from and some flatback pearls and some bling in there and then this I love this um, beaded what are they what do they call that what is that like a spray yeah like a beaded spray and then there's a dove back here and then there'll be another card that will have this uh, wooden thimble that um, I altered using a doily that I got from Cody Flanders then this rose trim I got at Hobby Lobby and on the top are some adorable wild orchid craft flowers with the little rosebuds that are my favorite. And some bling, because, you know, of course it has to have bling. And then it's got one of the Tilda Heart stick pins in the middle. And this is actually um, my, one of my favorite fabrics that I made into a roll of tape for her. So it's um, sticky back fabric tape that I made. That will be going in this pocket. And then I made also um, some mason jars, totally adorable. And I gessoed them and then I um, Mod Podged on my favorite Tilda napkin and added some jute and a couple little flowers. And then this is my first altered cork dangle which I'm thinking it might need some more danglies on it but I love how like this rose is gorgeous and then there's a heart and then this one is all sparkly they're just so so pretty and I added some bling trim around mm -hmm. it and then some um, like eyelet trim and then this little um, flower trim I think I got that at Hobby Lobby too and then I added this little flower and I think I got these flowers at Hobby Lobby but they're cool because they got like a hole in the middle so you can use them like a bead and then I just put a wild orchid craft flower on the top and then I put a hook on and just hooked it to the top of the card and each of the card has stickles across the top because I like things to be sparkly and so on this card I've got um, some buttons that I decoupaged um, with napkins and then these two bottle caps which I got this idea from um, Scrimp and Mommy here on YouTube absolutely genius I used um, hot glue to temporarily hold everything into place and then I just sealed everything down with glossy accents so it's all in there and it's not coming off so love the bottle caps and the buttons and then I made some homemade handmade flowers because I love handmade flowers and I just love these fabrics. They're so soft and so pretty, right? They're just gorgeous. So this is my little, see, and I put a big old heart doily back there. It's just so cute. So this is my little pocket of some of my handmade embellishments. 
and then I'll put some other goodies in there for my partner that I want to keep a surprise. But I just thought I would share it with you because I just think it's so cute. It's so adorable. And I'm really especially loving this thimble. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.